Hey everybody, Hector Castillo here. So for the guys watching this, I'm going to try and convince you of something that you probably don't want to be convinced of, and I expect comments that I usually normally see to pop up. And I'm going to address the arguments here. So when you're talking to girls, over text specifically in this case, but in general, and you start to notice she's pulling away, she's not texting me back so much, she was texting me good morning, but now she's not should I text her and then you decide to text her and then she responds in a certain way and then it just kind of snowballs and eventually she stops responding. When you get to that point where it's gone, I want you to take a moment and without being angry at yourself and without being angry at her and just whatever, deleting the file from your, from your mind, I want you to think as objectively as possible, what could I have done better? What could I have done in my communication through these texts could I have done to prevent this from happening? Now, a lot of guys will immediately go into deleting that file from their mind and auto-rejecting this idea outright. And they're going to say something like, oh, she's not worth my time. Well, she was worth your time when you were having a good time. But as soon as things got difficult, all of a sudden she's not worth your time anymore. Very interesting ideas can pop up from that realization. But my next response would be, it's not about her. Because it's lost, for the most part. There's small times, chances that things come back, but for the most part, it's gone. It's not about her. It's about you learning from this experience. You learning about your communication. Well, you know what? If if it was meant to be, then it would have worked out. So just things just magically happen in this universe. There's no cause and effect. Come on. There's always a choice that you have in the way you communicate. And there's a choice on her part, too. I'm not alleviating her of her responsibility in maybe some of the miscommunications. However, you have no control over that. The only control you have is in how you act. So it's not about these girls like, oh, you lost some amazing thing and you have to get it back. No, I'm not telling you to be a simp or to chase after girls who don't care about you. I'm teaching you how to learn from your mistakes in your communications so that when you do find a girl who maybe you mesh with better, at some point there's going to be a communication error, even with someone you have the best chemistry in the world with. Are you just going to say, well, it's their problem? No. Take responsibility for the way you communicate and the reward from that short amount of pain of having to admit that maybe you're not the best communicator is that you become a better communicator. And guess what? You have better relationships and more of them and you can choose from girls the best that you want because you have a large selection because you're a good communicator. So take the time to ask, what could I have done better? And if you want some tips on how to be a better communicator, specifically over text, check out my book, What She Really Means, in my bio or my description, and I'll give you some help in figuring that out.